So I've been printing these chuck jaws and I was installing them and I thought you might find it interesting how they work and how I use them. So the reason that I wanted to print my own chuck jaws is because when I'm making my pottery tools I am regularly coming into the need to put a hole in a handle. In this case I buy these handles pre-done from another company and uh, but I need to make the holes bigger and deeper to fit onto my tools and so that's something really difficult to do on a drill press. I want to do it in, a, in the chuck jaws of a lathe and the wood lathe seems to be the way to go. So what I really needed was a collet system. I print these collets in different shapes. This shape is made for the handle so it goes in like that and then the jaws grab it and I get a really nice centered hole. These are all almost completely solid uh, print and they take days to get them printed but if you're going to jump on Tinkercad and try to make your own chuck uh, jaws for me the most difficult part was this kind of weird pattern that was on the factory jaws and engage on the on the body of the chuck. So figuring out these kind of detailed shapes for your application. But if you do have one of these chucks, I'm gonna go ahead and throw these up on Thingiverse. So I'll have a link in the description, but let me get these bolted on, I'll show you how it works. So let me show you how it works. Uh, I do these a whole bunch and so I have a collet that fits this handle. I can get it at both ends if I need to depending on what I'm doing but it just goes in like that. And I'm not afraid to tighten it pretty firm. I'm not afraid to break it. But I do double check that it looks like it's running true. If it's not, I might tighten it or pull it out and rotate it one click and put it back in. But this is really helpful. I've used this for a couple of years. Um, not exactly this one, but they are durable and I use them all the time. So, hope you enjoyed.